Oh, Jesus. Where am I? What is this place? God. So hello, it's your boys. So what's up, guys? It's me, Crane, and... Here's my keyboard. I'm gonna press this button. Color grid done. Previously made a video how to edit fast. But it was only for Premiere Pro. So, so the idea is you press one button in this keyboard and this software will take the signal and will execute a script for that and the script will basically command your PC to move your cursor automatically, press buttons automatically and at the end of the day do the task automatically in just a blink of an eye, less than one second. I mean isn't that, isn't that cool? Sorry if I can't able to make you laugh or smile but you know what? You watching, you watching the video, you are the best. Just crazy! <laughs> So basically this video is made for the editors, basically the psycho editors like me who have no chill with only one keyword, they want some big ass three keyboard in their life. Uh, so, so now here's how you can do it for any software. Now I'm gonna be personally showing in DaVinci Resolve because I have already shown you how we can use it in Premiere Pro. This video is enough for you to just learn and uh, do other stuff. But if, if you still get confused or whatsoever, watch my first video. I explain everything over there. So if you're happy and you know, clap your balls. <laughs> This video is going to be full massacre. I, I know. I, I, I want to see if it barely gets 100 views. <laughs> okay. So, and open DaVinci Resolve. I mean. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, here's my DaVinci Resolve project with a 4K clip with Finn. Hello, Finn. Where am I? And I have two objectives. Remove the fucking green screen and apply a fucking preset. Look, using F4 doesn't make you cool. I get it. It's just a way of emphasizing what I'm saying to your fucking brain and your fucking balls. Okay, never mind. I'm a bit high right now. I just uh, so let this get started with our dear Finn. I mean Finns are. I mean Finzorolian. Wait, but never mind. <laughs> so basically, let's start with the green screen clip. So the one way you do it in DaVinci Resolve is you go to the Fusion and then you press Control Space and then you search for some green screen removal preset you already have saved for it and then you just press enter and boom it's gone but you know what i'm a lazy ass i am so lazy that i can't press that amount of button it takes so much time right so basically i have to write a script that will command my pc to automatically press control space and then press backspace remove whatever was ever searched before and then type the name of my preset and then hit enter in just a blink of an eye some people may think that's so unnecessary but when you were a solo youtuber you think about your own videos you create your own videos you edit your own videos you you, you clean up your own ass just it, it's super helpful trust me so as i mentioned before i'm assuming that you already have an extra keyboard and a python i, I mean not this one but Python installed in your PC with a Pi Auto GUI module with a Visual Studio code. I mean, okay, if you haven't installed it yet, don't worry, just pause the video here. I will be waiting for you, but before you go, if you hit the subscribe button, I'll appreciate that because I want to reach 10k as fast as I can. Look, this is not a f***ing horror game to be scared of. You literally type codes in Discord and in Minecraft every single day. It's way easier than that. Okay, 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 okay. L let me show you how Minecraft is that. Okay, so look. You go, you open your Visual Studio code, you go there, go to the files, click on it, select language, search for Python, select that, boom, you have your own file. Just, just stop thinking about whatever you're thinking on, just, just follow me, just, just simply type import space pi auto qe, enter import space time. So this first two line, these are your addressing pi or the GUI module in, inside of Python, basically. Just write these two lines. So as I mentioned before, the first step is I have to tell my PC to hold control and hit space. That's it. So uh, we have to write pi auto GUI dot key down D capital and start a first bracket and then start a first quote. That's what it's called, maybe. And then type ctrl look if you need any self-help or like any more explanation you can always watch these two videos or you can go to the whole documentation about pyote gui uh, for your further knowledge uh, whatever so we'll be back so once you write that hit enter and then you just write pi auto gui dot press and then start a first bracket start a first code write space so you're basically holding your control and you hit space now we have to release our control so we're gonna type 
pyautogui.keyup and then a bracket and then a first code and then ctrl oopsie uh the p will be small uh yeah when there will be no colors showing up you have to understand that something wrong you were writing and boom we press control space now what we have to do we have to press backspace to remove or whatever it was already written on that search tab so we're gonna type pyautogui dot press bracket first code backspace and then we're gonna hit enter now we have to basically write the name of the preset we want to search for so pi out of gui dot write first bracket first code and then type uh re for me it's remove green so remove a uh, green so just gently close the keyboard like you close the door before you sleep you you have to tell your pc to press enter right so you gotta do like uh pi out the gui dot press bracket open first code type enter enter and then you just uh yeah your code is ready basically so just simply go to file and save as and then name it whatever you want i'm gonna name it remove green dot p y w remember just save it as dot p y w so you, you won't see the console and then hit okay so you basically save the file but before i use it or you use it i'm, I'm i like to test my prototype so here comes the time dot sleep module so here i add a three second delay so when i'm gonna press f5 to debug my code to run my script it will wait for three seconds and then it will run the script you basically can test this if any error shows up you can just go up fix Fix it and then you can test before you use it for final thing. Now we gotta assign it to some hole. Uh, you know, not hole. So we gotta assign it to some button in your keyboard so you when you press it, it applies. So for that, HID macros comes in. So now, uh, if you haven't installed HID macros, just uh, install it. And another reminder, subscribe. No, I'm not gonna say. So uh, open your HID macros and uh, create new macro and just name it whatever you want. Uh, for me, just remove green. Yeah. That's pretty sick. Yeah, right. Remove green and assign now a macro key for it. Scan. So I'm gonna add like uh, this backspace for that. So I'm gonna scan it. Backspace. Look at this. It uh, took keyboard 19. A uh, backspace. Now uh, here we go. And then you go all the way down and run application. Then click on this three dot. Then click this down arrow. Change it to all files and then browse uh, wherever your code is and then you select the code and then you hit OK. So now I'm gonna open Da Vinci. Uh, Fusion already selected. All you're gonna do is just press this button. Boom! It's done. How much? How much time it took this button? What is it called? 34 microsecond? Uh, whatever, it's half a sec. That's crazy, right? But Crane, that was uh, fucking easy. I mean, a bit little too easy, but is there any more? I mean, how about, you know, you uh, how about applying a preset? Uh, yeah, I got you covered. Don't worry. So, uh, before I start, you just grab, you know, grab some snacks, cold drinks, or whatever you can, uh, cause this shit is going to get crazy. So imagine you were in the Vinci Resolve. I mean, why imagine you are in the Vinci? Oh, okay, never mind. Don't worry. I'm my sanity. I'm already lost my brain. I lost my sanity. Don't worry. I have no life. I don't care. I don't give a shit. So in the Vinci Resolve, one of the way you apply a color grid preset on your one of your clips is you go to the color tab, and then if you have some a, a same interface like me, uh, you you basically go to the gallery. You select gallery. You go power grid bin and then you just drag it all the way to the node and you apply basically a preset now basically i have to write a script that will order command tell my pc to beat the ass off okay so basically i have to write a script that will tell my pc i mean command my pc to move the cursor from here to all the way there click over there and then it will go there and click like this and then automatically type color grade 69 and then it will come all the way here select this thing and then it will go all the way here and then we'll drag it all the way to here and we'll go all the way back there uh, remove everything what i was searched it will turn off the search bar and again click on the gallery to turn off everything and will return back to wherever it was as if nothing had happened just a blink of an eye by a single press of a button and yeah i, I know that sounds complex but do i look like a professional coder oh hell no because i'm not obviously <laughs> i'm just an editor so like i learned this pi auto gui and i i know editing and i got the hid macros so i just just this idea just 
So here we go again. Just create a Python project just like the last time. Again, type import space py.qe, enter import space time. Yeah, the first two lines, right? Easy as that. Just simply just write x comma y is equal to pi art GUI dot position and then bracket. So just write it for now. I will explain what is this for. So now we have to manipulate all the thing I said into the code. So the first thing is uh, just simply write pi art GUI dot click and then a1 comma b1 so we're basically saying it to click on the exact point in this case it happened to be gallery no need to get flashbang by this shit because it's the same shit as minecraft like if you press f3 in the minecraft you see like x comma y comma z and then you get three values for it and here instead of that i'm writing a1 comma b1 which i will replace the value in later i mean that's the easiest way i can say <laughs> i mean okay so then now again type by r the gui dot click and then a2 comma b2 so this is we are saying it to click on search bar nice and then we are typing pi r to gui dot write and then uh first code and then uh, write color space grade space 69 i mean the exact name of the preset you, you have saved close the code close the bracket and then pi r to gui dot click a3 comma b3 pi r to gui dot move to a4 comma b4 so the basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna make your cursor to move at the exactly at that point and then we're gonna type in uh, by auto gui dot mouse down d capital and then uh just type button uh is equal to uh first code and then uh, left so that will basically tell you to hold your left mouse button and then again by auto gui dot move to uh uh, bracket and then a5 comma v5 something like that and so basically that will you told that while holding your left click you're dragging your mouse all the way to the node specific area right there and then you just type pi or the gui dot mouse up you capital and then just bracket that it will basically release the click so you just hold the left click you drag it all the way to nodes and you released it that's what you did so far now we have to erase all the mess we made right here so just have to type pi or gui dot click a6 comma b6 maybe so that will basically tell the cursor to go there click on there so that will basically clear all the search now pi to gui dot click uh, again a2 comma b2 the search bar so we're gonna pi to gui dot click and then a1 comma b1 and for the last one uh pi to gui dot move to x comma y and it will send the cursor back to home from where it started Now you 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 all those a1 b1 uh, a2 b2 uh, all those a1 b1 so stuff values we have to gather them so just simply open now fucking hid macros right and then go to the script tools yeah and then you you move your mouse and you see this shit moving right there okay nice so now open your the binge resolve move your cursor over the the gallery and note these two values so a1 b1 is equal to this so you click on the gallery and then you move your cursor to the search bar okay so a2 b2 is equal to this and then uh, you move your cursor to the power grade so uh a3 b3 is equal to this now bring the crosshair here so a4 b4 is equal to this now you move your cursor to the node like you're basically dragging it to node so it requires the node so just move your cursor over here in the node in between anywhere anywhere else so just so a5 b5 is this and then you go back and you are cutting the search whatever you search so a6 b6 is this we're done and we have to apply them so just simply put uh whatever you wrote the values you wrote in the code like this i'm gonna first forward this thing so yeah this is how it looks like nice you you're basically done at this point the only drawback flow whatever you say is that to make the whole shit work you have to make this whole windows and everything fixed because you were just basically stitching this code uh, to this like exact preset layout ui whatever you say so you basically you go to the workspace and then yeah basically save the layout you have to go back to this layout every time before you run the script so i'm gonna show you how it looks like in slow motion so i'm gonna press f5 and wait what the o okay so i misspelled the button that, that should be double t like butt so here technically someone's butt just 
literally crashed my code oh, amazing so uh, yeah you just basically save the code color grade 69 that's the best name right and dot pyw uh yeah save it as that so yeah that's pretty much our code here how it looks like in slow motion with the time pre uh, module So now, just like the previous time, open HID macros, create new macro, scan the key. I believe this is clear. We're gonna do run application and uh, browse the code what you just made and just save it. Now you come back to Vinci. Uh, make sure you click on the clip where you want to apply this thing. So you already clicked on this thing, and you gotta do is press this button. Here we go. We did it. Let's go. I don't know if you're alive or not at this point at this part of this video i want to see just just comment if you're alive at this part of the video you know what it's so much hassle to you just go there you know type the transition you want and just drag and drop this shit and that takes all a lot of time but whereas you can make yourself you can make yourself a little keyboard like this and uh you know that just uh, works perfect so you know if you if you if you can i mean it that's easy that's super easy like it's just freaking mind yeah that's it that's my setup and yeah thanks for watching i just want to i mean you know what you were the best guy for watching i don't care where are you but thanks for watching Fuck it. so uh see you in the next video till then uh stay hard Almost got hit by a car! Holy fuck!